Hello everybody, my name, wait, wait a second, alright, hello everybody, my name is Jacob and welcome back to a top 5 video. I just woke up, and uh, yeah, here we go, we're going to be watching 5 Creepiest Ghost Sightings, 5 Creepiest Ghost Sightings, call on into something. It looked good until it sucked. Okay, I've done five ghosts caught on CCTV cameras, and most of you seem to really enjoy the footage. So here are what I think are five of the scariest ghost videos captured on camera. And make sure you stay for number one, because it's a personal clip of mine. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania has been labelled as one of the most haunted areas in the United States. It was where an intense America vs. America three-day battle took place in 1863, with more than 7,000 brave Union and Confederate soldiers being killed, and tens of thousands more being wounded and crippled. And it's here where what's believed to be one of the most compelling pieces of ghost footage was shot, and here it is. It's funny how ghosts show up when people have their cameras out. <laughs> Moving there. No, there's a motorcycle. See? Well, I don't see nothing down there. Can't be the motorcycles, honey. There's another sparkle. You see what I'm saying? What's that? What is that? A tree. No. You've moved it. It's right. Right there. Uh-huh. Look. There's nobody there. I can't see. Look. Look at those people. It can't be. There's nobody Not up in the trees. There's nobody down there no more. See? That is creepy. Like, why would you do that? Why would you continue to watch? My camera just messed up. Yeah, why would you continue to watch? What do you think? Is the white misty figure walking around in the trees simply an illusion, or could it be one of the soldiers who lost their lives during the 1800s battle? Saint or Neither. I mean, it's probably a freaking... It's, probably, it's a spirit that wants to eat their souls. Justin Lighthouse. Yeah. In 2006, the popular paranormal team Ghost Hunters visited St. Augustine, Florida to investigate a historical lighthouse which was built in 1874. It's believed to be one of the most I saw that episode. haunted lighthouses in the world, with visitors and workers allegedly witnessing numerous paranormal activities. From hearing voices and unexplained sounds to the sighting of two little girls standing on the lighthouse catwalk, who are believed to be the daughters of the superintendent. I forgot you can't hear me. I said, I'm laying down right now. No! Abandoned of the lighthouse's construction. Both girls drowned in an accident during the building of the tower. Other reports are of a woman seen on the lighthouse stairway or walking in the yard outside the buildings. The Ghost Hunters crew set up an audio unit in the lighthouse tower alongside a camera that was positioned to shoot up the lighthouse's spiral stairs. And let's take a look at what they captured. Now look, look at the very right? top. Was that just leaning over just right there? Yeah, yeah. Watch. <laughs> You're going to see it go up, up two flights of stairs in a matter of a couple seconds. Watch. Watch. Boom. 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 And there it is. Peeking right over at us. That gives me chills right now. Because I remember seeing it. That's pretty strange, and the video clearly shows some sort of figure. You see that guy? Right? right where that circle is. It's like leaning over. I know that's true. Okay. Ghosts are real. They just they just don't kill you like how the urban legends say it. Uh -huh. The top of the stairs, and it appears to turn and look directly at the camera. The hospital ghost. Now this is only a short clip. I hate freaking hospitals and ghosts, so this is going creep me out so i'm gonna set up and the camera seemed to have recorded it in sections but after searching for hours i can't find any information on the clip but what is known is that it was taken in a hospital and seems to show a figure leaning over a patient take a look what is that why would they 
Why would they do that? It's so freaking creepy. It's a shame the video isn't longer and that I can't find any information on it, but some people say it's a bug on the camera lens and others say it's a ghost who came to visit a family member in hospital. Considered to be one of the most haunted places in America, the Eastern State Penitentiary really is a remarkable place that has so much history surrounding it. It was built in 1829 and has over a hundred years of suicide, madness, disease, despair, torture and murder. And with the harsh punishments used on prisoners, you can see why it has a reputation for itself. I'm not going into too much detail because I will save that for my five most haunted prisons video. But the prisoners would be strapped to what was called the mad chair, which bound them so tightly. We're going to watch that one next. That circulation was cut off, often resulting in the amputation of limbs. The iron gag was another method used in which an inmate's hands were tied behind their back and strapped to an iron collar that was placed in their... <laughs> So they look like, okay, so, hands behind their back, like this, like a gag in their mouth, that's messed up, if you couldn't see me, I'll edit that out. Mouth, so that any movement caused the tongue to tear and bleed profusely. In 2004, the Ghost Hunters crew visited the prison, and one of the cameras they were using was positioned looking down a cell block, and this is what they captured. You can see some sort of figure walking towards the camera and then bolt back down the hall extremely fast. What do you think it was? Person. Now, I cannot confirm... Person. ...the authenticity... Person. ...city of any of those four clips because I didn't witness them firsthand. But this clip, I can assure you, is 100% real because I recorded it myself. And you have my word that I have not tampered with it whatsoever. I am very skeptical to the paranormal, but certainly have an open mind about it. And I'm not saying this is proof of ghosts, but it's certainly strange and creeped me and my girlfriend out. We were both visiting... I like how that's the only one. Oh, is it you? ...the house for our anniversary in 2014. And Longley is best known for its safari park. But in the 900 acres of beautiful parkland is Longley House, a historical 16th century house that has its fair share of paranormal sightings. The most famous of Longley's ghosts is that of Lady Louisa, who was married to Thomas Thine, the resident of Longley House in 1733. He allowed her to bring one of her own serving staff to Longley as part of their wedding arrangements. One of her entourage was a young footman who adored her. After suspecting something was up, Thomas confronted the man in a passageway beside a spiral staircase. An altercation took place, whereby Thomas accused the footman of harassing his wife, which he denied. In a fit of rage, Thomas lost his temper and pushed the footman down the stairs, breaking his neck in the fall. Thomas then told his wife that the man had left without a word. This was a trying to cringe challenge, I failed. But she did not believe him and began looking for him. During a night search, she caught a chill which developed into pneumonia. Lady Louisa succumbed to her illness during childbirth and died in 1736. Ever since her death, reports from staff claim they have seen Lady Louisa. Why, when I watch ghost things, my closet moves? Telling the passageway where the incident had taken place. And even today, she is said to be heard banging on doors in a desperate and endless search to locate the whereabouts of a footman. So basically, Longley have put up a hologram of this footman's ghostly shadow walking down the stairs. It's very cool to watch, and I knew my dad, who loves all things paranormal, would love to see it. So I decided to film the hologram to send to him. When I was filming, my phone began to malfunction and seemed to have some sort of interference. I was pretty confused at first and just stopped recording and deleted the video because I thought my phone was just playing up. I then recorded down the hallway to see if my phone was messing up again, but it recorded fine. So I said to my girlfriend, who didn't see my phone malfunctioning at the time, should I try record it again and how mad would it be if it happened a second time around? So I walked back to the spot where it happened and here is what I recorded. <laughs> No.
crazy. And don't forget, I have been using my phone to record all day, and I'm always recording things, and this has never, ever happened. I still have the same phone, and it has never happened since. So anyway, as we were walking down the hallway, we saw a tour guide. I asked her, is there anything in this room or building which could mess with my phone? But she said there was absolutely nothing in the area that could mess with it. I then showed her the video and she was absolutely jaw smacked. She had no idea what could have caused it and said so herself that during her time working for the house, she has seen numerous paranormal things that cannot be explained. So that's my very own clip. And like I said, I'm not trying to... So yeah, that was top five scrapiest ghost sightings. So if you liked it, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, turn on those notifications, notifications, and leave a comment down in the below. So yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!